What's going on, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. Last we left off, we tamed ourselves a couple of pyromanes, and we got ourselves this imprinted girl. She came out, I think, at a 211, I think. She's really cool. I mean, she doesn't have the greatest stats. I mean, she lost the melee and lost the health, but uh, I don't really care about that. So what we're going to do in today's video, I'm going to switch you to the cat form, and actually, you know what? I'm going to... Because I'm thinking, we should either go to the snow biome and maybe tame a Uterrenus or an Ankylo, depending on what we see first, or we should just go out and get a Megalodon, because I've been wanting to get a Megalodon for some time, and hello, little... Hello, T-Rex. How you doing? Um, okay, can I... Alright, so Spearmint has the saddle, so let me just go ahead and put that inside of or onto you. Yeah, so I've been playing around with a few mods, like adding in mo mods, removing mods, because sometimes if I add in a certain kind of mod, or like certain amount of mods, the game will crash. Also, I got this max level Moss Chops, like uh, the baby version of it, like when I was like out taming and whatever. And the mono we can put over here. I don't think we'll be needing you today. So, yeah. I think in today's video, we're going to go out into the ocean again and tame a shark. Which means... Oh, hello. What are you doing on the balcony? How'd you... You must have climbed up the stairs. Hey there, little buddy. How you doing? Wait, what kind of kibble do you take? Simple. Now, that's pretty easy. Alright, well, anyway, um, what I'm gonna end up doing is, uh, you guys can just chill there. We need to tame a Uterrenus at some point, because once we get a Uterrenus, then we'll be able to make all the kibble in the world, because, because in ASC, when it used to be ASC, you had to tame creatures with certain amounts of kibble, like, uh, like some creatures needed exceptional kibble, while others needed extraordinary kibble. But in this game, as long as you have exceptional kibble, you can feed creatures that require lower tier kibble, higher tier kibble. You can do that if you want. So, yeah, these guys must have climbed up the stairs. They could stay there. Anyway, we'll do that like next episode. We'll worry about you, Tyrannus, next episode. So, I need the gecko. I need the gecko. I tamed it as a big... There you are. Yeah, I tamed this gecko as well. This is another version of the gecko that I have yeah, anyway, I think we have everything we need. Let's go out and tame ourselves a Megalodon. I don't think we could shoot off the Basilosaur. I don't have a saddle for the seahorse at the moment. Alright, let's, uh, let's head out. See if we can find... I'm guessing... I'm thinking, like, 130, the minimum. 150 would be nice, but 130 would be the minimum. Let me up the gamma so I can see... Thanks to the gecko, we don't have to worry about oxygen. So we could just swim around whenever we want. That's a 130 ichthyosaur. I want to kind of see what's going on in the ocean. I've added in a few more mods. Maybe we'll run into the Shastasaurus. I'd like to tame one of those at some point. That's why we kind of need the Uterrenus, because Uterrenus eggs make... You need Uterrenus eggs to make exceptional kibble. So it only makes... Oh. What is this now? Holy. I don't want to go near it just in case the Ichthy dies. I think that's one of those air bubbles. Okay, hold on. I need to explore this. Alright. So this is the air bubble. I've heard about this. I don't have a tame that I could ride, do I? No, okay. Um, let me just explore this area real quick. I think this is just a place to build a base. What I might do is build a secret base here. A secret base. And then we could just... Do whatever we want with it. Okay, this... This is actually pretty cool. I don't know how the hell this would work. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. It looks like you got all the berries and all the wood in the world. So if we wanted to, we could build a base down here. 
if we so wanted to. That'll be like my summer home or something. All right, let's, uh, we've had our fun and it's raining apparently. All right, let's head back into the ocean. I can't move. The ichthy can't move for whatever reason. All right, maybe if we swim a little further away. All right, there we go. Can we move now? There we go, we can move. Oh, we couldn't move for a second. Uh, we're going deep into the ocean. I don't think the basil would be able to go this deep. What are you, an electropress? Okay, you're swimming towards me. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm running away. I don't have a strong enough creature to take them. I don't think the basils are... This is why we need, like, a megalodon. Something super strong. You know, because we don't... We can't... We can't take everything on on the golf. Alright, rain. Right on cue. Well done. I mean, if we find something cool... Hey, there's Skull Island. If we find something cool, then I'll try to tame it, but... I think we're just after a Megalodon. These guys seem pretty easy to tame. These dolly things. There's like a juvenile somewhere. Yeah, I think that's the juvenile. If we can find a high level, then I'll definitely want to go after those. Alright, so where would the Megalodons be? I love how the air bubble's just right underneath me. And you can see it too, it stands out from the rest of the ocean. So it's not easy to, to miss. Is that one? Well, that's a that's a 140 Zephactinus. Or should we go after a Zephactinus? I mean, we should be fine. The, the only problem is this thing is quick. So we're gonna have to be careful. Oh, yep, this thing will grab me off the Ichthy. Yep, he's gonna die, yep. That's how it goes wrong. Alright, well, we tried anyway. I'm sure there's plenty more. I forgot they could do that. We need something bigger that we can shoot off the back of that can't be grabbed by the Ichthy. I know, I, wait, I think I saw a Megalodon somewhere. Yeah, that's, there it is, 135. You know what, that's perfect. We'll tame you. All right, we did about 1,300 out of 7,200 total. Long. We can tank this guy for days. You know what would have been nice? Prime meat. So this guy should be relatively easy to knock out. And he should be out. And he's out. Good. Alright, so let me put a tracker on him so I know where he is. How long do we have till? Two hours. Okay. Two hours until it wakes up. So that's good anyway. Now for the tricky part. To find some prime. And you know what? This is convenient. It's literally right by base. Now the only thing that would screw this up now is if like a Zephactinus attacks it. I think. Alright, we got that 135 Megalodon, so let's go ahead and uh, maybe use the Pyromane to get some prime. Let's go find something that drops Prime, like this... 25 Venenosaur. Do you drop Prime? You don't. You don't drop Prime. Alright, whatever. An Alpha Trike. Okay. Let's, let's fight this Alpha Trike. Alright, let's see what we got for weapons, actually. Alright, there was Prime in our inventory that would spoil, so... Alright, what do we get from that? 176, we got a better hatchet. That's good. And we got some... Actually, the cloth boots are better. Alright, we should be good. There we go. And you know what we could do? In the meantime, go out into the snow biome and look for a... And look for an ankle because we need a good metal gallery and possibly an Argentavis. Yeah. In the meantime, that's what we could do. All right, so um, 
What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Let me go back on the Ikfi and... Okay. Damage myself. Okay. Whatever. Let's go back into the ocean. Feed our Megalodon. It's so close to base, too. Which is very convenient. Um, okay. Where did I park the Ikfi? Alright, so the Megalodon should be right over here. Yep. Please don't let anything attack this guy. Please. Prime... There we go. Alright. So I think we should go after an Argentavis and an Ankylo. Just to, um... To pass the time while we wait for this Megalodon to tame up. Yeah, that's what we'll do. As long as we're not in render distance, we should be fine. Alright, let's, um... Do we have any regular meat? No. You don't eat fish. That's the problem. Alright, so, uh... I'll just go out... And see if I could find either an Ankylo, a high-level Ankylo, or a high-level RG. And we'll go from there. So I guess I'll see you guys in the snow biome. Here we are. The snow biome. And the Megalodon just ate. 40%. 48%. Alright, cool. Alright. Here we are. The snow biome. And already I see a Uterenus. What level... An Alpha Uterinus, level 140. Yeah, because Arcology adds in a wider variety of Alphas. And we're already lagging quite a bit. I'm just waiting for the roar so I can try to kill him. Ooh, we got some type of Golden Heart. What's that? Um, let me see what that was. Alpha Uterinus Lungs. Oh, yeah, they drop lungs. What level is this, RG? 130. Okay, okay. Um, we are going to have to get some prime. We'll let you heal up. Oh, wait. Baby mammoths are a thing? I'll save you, little buddy. Ow. Stupid snake. There you go, little buddy. Be free. Be free. Let me whistle passive. Passive. I just want to claim this mammoth. Just because we could use a mammoth for wood gathering. We could use you as an extra wood gatherer, so if we lose the beaver, it's not the end of the world. Alright. So we killed an Alpha Uterinus and tamed an 85 mammoth. Let's see if we can go after this 130. I'd rather you not hit the pyromane, because you will burn yourself if you do. A game. Game. Thank you. And down he goes. Awesome. Alright, do we have any prime in our inventory? We have cooked prime. We have some prime. And we also have some regular meat. Alright, let me give you some regular meat. And as long as we're not within range of you. Render distance. We should be fine. Alright. We got that 130 Argentavis. So we got an RG taming and we have a Megalodon taming. But now that we've got some regular meat, we should give that to the Megalodon just in case the Prime spoils. Alright. I think we are ready to go. So in the meantime, while we wait... We got the Megalodon saddle. We should probably get the Argentavis a saddle while we wait. Let's, so let's see. Argentavis. There we go. And then Vecta Spinus. I'd love to tame a Vecta Spinus at some point. But there's this, there's this special kind of weapon that you would use to knock it out. Because you can't knock it out through normal means. You need this special... I think it's like... Somewhere in here. Tech. Anzu Tech Jessus. What? I don't know what a Jessus is. Railgun. That's it. It's called a railgun. You use it to knock out... Uh, we need 200 polymer. 150 metal ingots. I'm sure we can use organic polymer. And black pearls. Black pearls might be a little bit of an issue. Oh, we've got one. We've got one. But yeah, it's called the Railgun. Hold on, what do we what do we need to craft it? Do we need to craft it in the smithy or the fabricator? Railgun, let's see. 
I guess you craft it by hand. So let's see. Energy cell. There we go. Ammo for... Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. You know what? I'm going to get a power generator while I'm here. All right. All right, so the Megalodon is almost tamed. As for the RG, it's, it hasn't even taken a bite yet. So I'm worried the Prime... Yeah, the, I think the Prime's spoiled by this point, so... Uh, we're going to have to see what happens. All right, so what I'll do is... I'll let you, I'll I'll bring you guys back when both the Megalodon and the Argentavis have been tamed. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, wolf, Wolf! No, you don't. I saw you coming from a mile away. Oh Jesus! Ow! Snake! Uh, now there's a Parasair. And you lost taming effectiveness. Might as well kill you now. Damn it, you lost taming effectiveness. All because of a stupid snake. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna have to find another one or something. Let's go find another one. Hey, the Megalodon just tamed up. Alright, that's an alpha mammoth. Let's see if we can fight it. Alright, get out the way. Everything's attacking. Alright, can you please die? Thank you. Looks like I got some better armor. That was a max level wolf. We got a crossbow, 148. Not as good as the one we have. 152. Hatchet, we got a 176. We don't need that. Mammoth frozen tusks, a 120. Crossbow. You know what? Better weapons or better armor? I'll take it. Alright, we should be good to go when it comes to that. I'd rather not fight you guys if I don't have to. Right, that's the 20 RG. What level are you? Okay, 145. Alright, 145, let's go. I've got a friend. A 140 female and a 145 male. They're both Arcology. You know what? Should we get both? Okay, could you stop moving so I can shoot you? Stop moving! That was a miss. How was that a miss? That looked like a direct hit to me. Alright, and down he goes. I'm so lucky that one missed because that was the one that brought it down. Alright. Alright. I will let you guys know when these two RGs are fully tamed and ready to go. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we have it. Both Argentavis have been tamed. So let's go ahead. Actually, this might be the best thing to do. So let's just put this in. There we go. And that's how you do it. That is how you do it. All right, let's take these guys back to base. Get the Megalodon. And then we'll be good to go. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And we're back. And the Megalodon has been fully tamed. And it looks like all of its meat kind of spoiled. So now we've got that. We can head back to base. Give the Megalodon the saddle. And then just go from there. Take it out for a spin. And then maybe next episode we'll breed up the Archies. Get an imprinted version. And then we'll see if we can get an Ankylo. Or something next episode for metal gathering. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the stats of our new RGs. We got a, a 145 male and a 140 female. So the male came out as a 217, 28 points into health. That seems kind of terrible. 47 into stamina. That's If only the stamina was into health. Oxygen food, no one cares, but oxygen's the worst of them all. 40 points into weight, 37 points into melee. The melee's good anyway. Let's see if the female can do better. 37 points into health, already that's better. 28 points into stamina, so the male has more stamina. Oxygen, food, no one cares. 38 points into weight, 34 points into melee. 
So we need... So if we get the imprinted one, we need the, the female's health and the male's melee. 37 and 37. And as for the shark... We've got 33 points into health, 42 points into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares, 55 points into weight. If only that was into melee, that would have been really good. And 37 points into into melee. All right, so let's uh, get the saddle out. I'm pretty sure, yep, it's in the smithy. And let's go ahead, go down here. And let's take our Megalodon out for a spin. Because that's the main thing I wanted to get today. So we've got our 135 Megalodon. It's got really good weight. 55 points into weight. If only that was into either health or melee. That would have been really good. But no. Weight. Alright. We're a little heavy. But that's fine. We only have about saying that 55 Wait, what was that? 500 weight. 55 points into weight, my ass. 500 weight is terrible. Then again, you are more of a fighter rather than a carrier. 416, okay. That's really good, actually. Four points away from 420. <laughs> See what I did there? All right. So, the Megalodon actually seems really good. Let me get a... Screenshot for the thumbnail. Alright, so we start off with 4,500 health and 1,225% melee. Alright, so what we might do, get that stamina up to 2,000. Maybe get that weight up to 1,000? Alright, we got 12 points. We'll put 6 points into health and 6 points into melee. Hopefully that'll change us up a bit. Let's see how much damage we do now. 1100. Yeah, that's that's better. Way better. Now you're more of a fighter. All right. This guy is really good in my opinion. I'm glad we got him. If he was like a max level or something, if we find a max level, I'll be sure to tame it. And of course, if I find the opposite gender of the basil, we have a male. If we could find a female of that, then that would be great. I'll park the megalodon like right over here for now. All right. So we just tamed a Megalodon and two Argentavis, and also a, a Mammoth. And with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.